Hi there. Uh, my name is Roto Safranic. Uh, Roto is a little bit different because I'm actually from another part of the world, the other side of the world, literally from Montenegro, which means black mountains. So it's great to be in Arizona with all the wonderful mountains. Um, you can tell I've been here for a little while and it's been such a wonderful uh, uh, trail for me. My life trail has been so wonderful. So I love to talk about uh, the diversity all around us in the world and especially in Arizona. And uh, what got me to such a great discussion about diversity with, with, with respect to geology, with respect to plants, with respect to people, and I thought, what could be my next book? And so the Arizona Trail popped into my mind to saying what a wonderful discussion uh, of the diversity that we have in this state. Uh, for those of you that don't know about the Arizona Trail, it's one of 11, only 11 designated scenic uh, national trails. So that's an important status that we have one of only 11 designated trails. It's an 800 mile trail that starts at the Mexico uh, border, Mexico, Arizona border, and goes all the way to Utah. Or if you're going from the north south, it starts in Utah and ends at the Mexican border. And it goes through some of the deepest canyons, like our wonderful Grand Canyon, and some of the highest mountain ranges that Arizona has. So Arizona is not just all flat desert. There's some wonderful, wonderful uh, diversity that you see within those areas that I mentioned. Uh, one of the things we're really proud of with the book is that a portion of the uh, proceeds will go to the Arizona Trail Association, and specifically uh, some of the youth programs that they are working on. Because uh, the Arizona Trail is one of the largest volunteer projects in the country, the largest in Arizona, since it was created almost entirely by volunteers and now maintained by volunteers. So what we want to do with the book is encourage people, especially young people, to use the trail, uh, to become aware of it, and then to become good stewards of it. So generation after generation can enjoy this wonderful resource. We really appreciate Sibley's West being part of that community outreach. And so we thank you so much for having us. And where does it start? It starts uh, just uh, uh, below uh, Patagonia, close to the, not close, but exactly on the Mexican border. And it goes through there, up along Tucson, moves along up through as you were heading up on the kind of the central east side of Arizona towards the Mugion Rim then up on the Mugion Rim and over to Mugion Rim towards uh, uh, Lake Mary and through Flagstaff around the Humphrey Peaks and then it heads across there to the Grand Canyon, incorporates the South Kaibab and the North Kaibab Trail as part of the Grand Canyon Trek and then up over the North Rim and all the way up to the Utah border. So wonderful things to see, different things to see and a very uh, great exercise. <laughs> And tell us about the Red Tail Tale. The Red Tail Tale, uh, the character in the book is Rowan, which is the Gaelic word for redhead. And the Red Tail Hawk is the official uh, mascot of the Arizona Trail. So the one redhead and the red tail, uh, part of the book is an adventure that the two of them get into. And so they have uh, fun and explore the trail a little bit together and teach you about how to be safe on the trail. So the, the red tail and the tail of those two, the red tail and the red head is really what the book is about. So there's a little bit of uh, information and there's a lot of good adventure in the book. And so young adults would like it. Young adults and, uh, and children that have it read to them. Mm -hmm. And as we found out, even us older adults like it because we learned so much about Arizona and uh, this great resource that we have. Great. Well, thanks for being a part of Sibley's West. Thank you.